Hey there, sex and commitment part two. So in case you missed it, I posted a video right before this one a couple of days ago about sex and commitment. And in that video, I'm speaking to a young client and I'm advising her to save sex for a committed relationship. And go watch it, it's super short, and then come back to this one if you haven't seen it yet. So essentially, I'm advising all women to save sex for a committed relationship. And now I wanna to add to a loving, committed relationship. And I explained a little bit about what that is in the last video. And so one of my friends commented on the video, one of my male friends, a really uh, spiritual and expanded consciousness kind of dude. So he says, Winter, what about spontaneity and going with the flow? And additionally, you know, Buddhist principles teach that the end to suffering is to let go of expectations, attachment, and judgment. And I was so excited for the inspiration to respond to that and expand on the sex and commitment video. And so my response is, is that regarding going with the flow and spontaneity, that once we have the commitment, so first of all, spoken like a true man who was not available for a new committed relationship, and so keep that in mind, ladies. And second of all, once we have the commitment, then we can have all the spontaneity and going with the flow that we want. And because what ladies and gentlemen, what ladies really want and need is a safe space to be open and vulnerable to have all the free-flowing sex with detachment and abandonment to the outcome, right? In that loving, committed container, right? Container of a loving, committed relationship. And so I love it when we throw around these spiritual, and he was half joking, right? When he said like, what about these Buddhist principles? And, you know, like no attachment, no, no judgment, no expectations. Isn't the commitment, isn't expecting or requiring a commitment in order to have the sex and expectation? Yes, it is. And in my opinion, it's a reasonable expectation for the reasons that I just explained. And I love all those principles, no judgment, non-judgment, non-attachment. Um, non and no expectations. And in this 3D world, we have all of those things. There are, there are circumstances when those things are appropriate, and then there are other circumstances where they're not, right? So in our 3D world, right, we go to work, those of us who go to work or work with clients, sell goods, whatever, we expect to be paid for our services, right? Whether they be in employment or in in business, right? That's right. There's an expectation of an exchange and that is reasonable, right? So I'm going to travel soon and I'm going to get on a plane and expect that everything is in good operating order, right? And that the pilots and the staff and the air traffic control and all the things are competent and sober and alert and conscious and will do their best to ensure that my aircraft gets to its destination safely and on time, okay? And then I'm gonna judge the service, right? Because I am a consumer. So there are instances in which that is appropriate, right? Where we do want to, ha we do have expectations. We are attached to the outcome, like, getting to my des destination safely and like expecting that the man that I am in intimate, intimate relation with 
is having those relations with only me. Uh, right, okay, ladies, I'm not, this is the proverbial you and me that I am referring to. And if you have other ideas, I'm going to invite you to drop those, you know, to drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if this resonates with you. And again, I stand firm by my position that essentially this is how ladies are wired. This is what we want. This is what we need in order to feel good in the relationship. And then from that place, then once you have the commitment, once it's loving, committed, healthy situation, then you can have all the sex that you want with no attachment, no judgment, and no expectation, right? You go into it, you can have all the flow and all the sponta spontaneity from that place. And then you go into it just for the connection, the love and the connection. And then from that place, you have all the things. And this is what I teach my ladies, right? Ladies only in my Sink Your Soul container. So, you know, how to prepare for this type of devotion, relationship, ecstasy, abandonment, detachment, uh, love, and connection. So looking at my notes, let me see if there's anything I wanted to say. So I'm just going to finish where I started, which is that, ladies, I posit that this is what you, we, the proverbial you and we, want, right? It's a loving, committed relationship where we can feel safe to be ourselves. And that includes enjoying beautiful sex with our lover. Let me know if this resonates with you. Tell me in the comments or DM me if you don't want to say, but I'd love it in the comments so we can expand the conversation. Okay, so I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, I'll see you in the gap. Much love. Ciao for now.